This is a special It's All Been Done Radio Hour, but it's not quite a commercial. We're considering episode 29 of the Top Notch Tangler, FFN's Date Night. FFN is an improv troupe here in Columbus, Ohio that is based out of Mad Lab Theater, and they do date night every February at Mad Lab Theater, where they bring couples up on stage, ask them about their relationship, and improv out. You should definitely check out their show. Uh, it's fantastic, and it's coming up soon. In this episode of the Top Notch Tangler, Kim and Carl go through the date night treatment with improvisers Josh Kessler, Matt Schlichting, Stephen Woosley, Nikki Smith, and Peter Grabiel representing FFN. We hope you enjoy this episode. How's everybody doing? All right, excellent. Lovely seeing all y'all out there. Thank you for letting us uh, open up for you all tonight. So uh, we are going to try to do uh, improv on microphones, so we'll see how this goes tonight. So I understand we have a couple that is ready for us to interview. Hey, look at that. Excellent. Let's hear it for our couple, ladies and gentlemen. That is, that is much less awkward. So I switched microphones. I'm sorry, I have to describe what I'm doing. So uh, just switch microphones for all you kids at home. Uh, may I ask your names, please? My name is Kimberly Benson. Kim Kimberly and? I'm uh, Commissioner Carl Darling. Kim Kimberly and Commissioner Carl? Kim is fine. All right, Kim, Kim and Carl. Kim and Carl, excellent. And uh, how long have you two been together? Oh, we've been together about four and a half years about now. About four and a half years, and are you married? Well, it's been off and on, but uh, especially been only about like two months this time. You've been married off and on, no, or you've no, been together, together off and on? Off and on. Okay. Uh, we're not in married. Oh, uh, okay, two, not, uh, not married years. together four and a half years off and on in that time, okay. And uh, do you two, uh, how did you two meet? Well, we met at a city event. Yes, it was a fundraiser for the mayor. Fundraiser for the mayor, excellent, all right. Um, and just you, uh, we're both looking across the mayor and locked eyes and magic ex exploded or? Oh, I, 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 was, I was just working that night, I had to, be, I had to stay professional. You were not even in uniform, you were there as a patron, but he just, I noticed him and I was just, oh, so handsome right across the room. And so I went over to him, started talking, but he was just very, very focused on his work, but he weren't even in uniform. Okay, excellent, nice. This, this so is a strategy. So, so Kim, then did you ask Carl out? Well, I was trying to get him to ask me out. Okay, okay, and did he eventually? I'm assuming uh, yes. Uh, yes, I, I, it's uh, I, once once the event was over, I. Okay. All right. So immediately, once you could lay your hair down, then you were willing to go over and talk. Okay, cool. And then, where did you go for your first date? Oh, we went to this lovely little French bistro, a French restaurant French that has become bistro. our place. Okay, nice. No, it's so hard as a super as a high profile person to go places. And this is just a little tucked away French restaurant that we can be nice. ourselves at. Nice, all right. Uh, and is that is that restaurant here in town? It is in Tip Town, where I'm from. In Tip Town, okay, in Tip Town. So, and do you both still live in Tip Town? For now, yes. Okay, gotcha, for now. All right, lovely. Uh, all right, cool. So uh, you went to a French bistro. Um, and uh, now, so uh, do you currently cohabitate? Are you living together? Uh, we do not live together right now. Okay. No. All right. Uh, um, in either of your uh, domiciles, do you have any other living creatures, children, pets, anything else? Oh, no. Uh, doing what I do, I can be called away, you know, quite often. There's a sign in the sky. There's a, a phone call on my cell phone, and I've got to rush out the door, so nothing else living. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Sounds good. Uh, Carl, how about you? I do not. Okay, you do not. All right. Uh, Kim, it, it feels like there's something you're keeping from us, but uh, <laughs> um, I can't help but notice that. Um, but that, that's all right. That's all right. It's neither here nor there. Um, so, uh, so what sort of things do you like to do together for fun? Well, we, 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 both, uh, we, we, we both agree with uh, justice. We, we like to... Uh, yes, we, we like to help the order. less fortunate law yes. and order. We like to help people. I donate much of my time and power and money to people okay. in need. Justice for fun. And okay, that's this, that's a first. I, we've never done justice for fun, but that's all right. That's, that's, that's good. Yes. Yeah, okay, all right, but it's both of you, so okay, that's great, cool. Um, anything other than uh, helping the downtrodden? Uh, maybe movies or long walks on the beach? Well, we do get quite a lot of exercise fighting bed people in jail. See, this, this is what I'm talking about, Kim. It feels <laughs> like there's something here, and again, I'm indicating down low, like below the surface, and we're up here. And, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, all right, so uh, anything else before I get to the big one? Uh, 
uh, at the risk of, uh, yeah, what do they do for a living? Oh, that's an excellent <laughs> question. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, Carl, uh, what do you do for a living? I'm the police commissioner of Tiptown. Police commissioner of Tiptown. Excellent. And Kim? I am the CEO of Benson Laboratories. The CEO of Benson Laboratories. And, and what, what, uh, what does Benson Laboratories do? Oh, all sorts of things, you know, uh, genetic modification, engineering, um, we're looking into time travel. Oh, uh, wow. You know, dimension shifting. Okay, I was thinking maybe it was like those DNA kit tests, but this is a lot more interesting. So. I mean, we okay. do make a lot of money. Because I do want to know what, what my cat's DNA is, but that yours is much more important. So, uh, all right, cool. Um, so, anything else? Do either of you have any uh, close friends or associates or assistant type people? Well, I did. She used to be a super. We used to be enemies. Some would call frenemies, um, but she did pass away recently. I'm sorry to hear that. This is very sad. Day. Sorry to hear that. So maybe Benson Laboratories can bring her back to life. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> anything <laughs> else? Yeah, you have a you have Anything a else? You have someone very close. To okay. You. Well, yeah, so I, I suppose that Lieutenant Carson could be considered uh, one of my. Lieutenant Carson, and does does Lieutenant Carson have a first name, or is that Lieutenant Carson's first name? <laughs> Lieutenant. <laughs> Lieutenant. Um, uh, is uh, um, is Lieutenant is, is Lieutenant uh, gendered? Uh, y yes, he, he, he's he's. A man. He is a he. Okay, cool. Thank you. So, not that it matters. I don't care. It's just you know for our playing purposes, we like to be specific. Um, anything else? Did our sadly dead friend of me have a name? <laughs> Her name was Floozy. Floozy. An un very uh, <laughs> unconventional name, but. Say, that's weird. That's the same as my ex wife. <laughs> huh. Well, I, I, I guess you did go by the flim flam Floozy. Okay, got it. All right, all right, cool. Yeah, okay. Uh, so super normal. So um, then anything else? No one said super. I, nope, I sure didn't. Uh, extra normal. Um, <laughs> then, uh, all right, so if there's nothing else, I'm going to get to the big one. Carl, I'm going to start with you. Carl, what is your biggest pet peeve of Kim? Four and a half years together, on and off. I'm guessing maybe there's something. Well, I, I think that maybe she can sometimes be a little... Controlling in, in the sense that she doesn't want, uh, she doesn't always let people in, doesn't tell them the whole truth about things. I was picking up on that, Carl. Yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Not, I mean, no offense, Kim. For, That's for good, good reason. Sometimes. Sure, sure. Absolutely. We all have our reasons for sure. Um, Kim, how about you? Any pet peeves of uh, Carl? Well, <clears throat> Carl can take things a little too personally. Take things a little too personally. You know, sometimes a untruth or keeping something to myself is, you know, I do it for good reason, you know, as a here, as a high profile person, I, I have to keep, I have to keep it low, down low. So, you know, I don't always, I, I have to trust people. Absolutely. As a here, that's very important. So yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Um, then without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cast this up. Um, Nikki, I am going to have you play Kim. And Gladly. Matt, I'm going to have you okay. play Carl. Um, so without further ado, let's take it away. Shotgun version of FFN's Date Night. Hey, Commissioner. These hors d'oeuvres are great. Aren't they great? Yeah, I got those. They, they, these are called wings, but they don't have bones in them. And I'd they're be, not even wings. I'd be delighted to eat one, but I'm too busy working. <laughs> oh, I thought you were just here as a patron. I even briefly made eye contact and regret it now. I'm here! I mean, hi, I'm showing up right now. <laughs> oh, hey! This party. Hi. Uh, I'm hi. gonna, you know what, I'm gonna go look at more of those hors d'oeuvres. I'll be back. Uh, and if you could see fit to donate any small bit to my campaign, I promise that I will do whatever it is that you think you want me to do excuse for me, you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hi. Hi. Hello there. Who are you? Um, uh, my name is What Carl. are you doing later? Oh. Do you want to do something, like maybe with another person that is like nearby that you could maybe <laughs> talk to? And I can think of several things I think that, that I'd like I to think do. That maybe oh, 
Well, well, well. It certainly is a slow night in the bistro tonight, wouldn't you say? I don't know what I'm going to do. I've already made all the baguettes nice and shiny. I know, and I've been out here smoking cigarettes and looking cross at people. I'm, I'm, I'm straight out of other things to do. And I am tired of sleeping with your wife and my wife. I am tired of sleeping with your wife and my wife and the Greek ghost's wife as well. We're going to sit at this table right here. I oh, think that sounds great. There are people. Yes. There yes, are does. people. Sit right here. Have Quick. you ever eaten beignets? No. You're about to. Ooh. <laughs> I think I'd like to snack on something else later. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I do not mean to break up this innuendo, but uh, <laughs> perhaps could I offer you a baguette or maybe That would be insult? soup. I mean, that'd be really neat. Thank you. Uh, that, would be, that would be... All right. One soup uh, baguette right now. I'm on it. So what do you do for a living, Kimberly? I... A super CEO, CEO of a large company. That's amazing. Yes. Actually, I don't think you need to be anywhere near as ashamed as you just sounded about that. No, 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 not ashamed at all. I think it's a really, it's a great job. May as well. Ring, ring, Kim. Ring, ring, Kim. Excuse ring, me, ring, Kim. Ring, ring, Kim. Kim, go. For hey, me. this is Ned down at the lab. Uh, I, I can't find those mice. Uh, uh that we were gonna use for testing. I. I, I think they might be in 1833. Oh, wait. I found them. I'll talk to you later. I got to Whoosh. So, Kim, how was the date? It was really so great. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad it was so great. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. He is so handsome, but I think I'm going to break up with him for like a week. What? <laughs> it's okay. I'll get back together with him next week. Oh, well. If you're whoosh, 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 whoosh. You're willing to do that. So, you're breaking up for... You just got together. I know, but she said it was time to move on. <laughs> time to do other important things. Like what? I don't know, but she's out of the country for the next three weeks. Oh, well, she must like to travel a lot. I didn't see any plane tickets or travel arrangements at all. I don't know how she's getting there. I like that you snooped around to check out what was going on. <laughs> Did you see no suitcases either? <laughs> no. Oh, you're, that's why you're commissioner. You're a good detective. That's exactly right. Yeah, <laughs> except you couldn't find anything. All right, we're back together again, just so you know. Oh, well, that's, that's excellent. Thank you. I mean, that's what I'm telling you, because that's what we're doing. We're back together right now. Whoosh! So you were back together again, and now you're broken up again, yes. and then you were back together, yes. and now broken up, and then yes. back together again. Yes. All right, I'm losing track. Listen, as your best friend, I just have to say that I think that this is getting a little hard. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little emotional right now. Sweetie, no, it's okay. Don't be sad. It's just I have this terrible feeling that I'm going to be pulled away from you. And oh. I'm going to be pulled away from you with that. I, 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 Whoosh. Uh, sorry, Miss Benson, your friend, um, let me look at the chart. Miss Flim Flam Floozy, she's, she's passed on. What? Yeah. I'm like oddly okay with this, but sad all the same. <laughs> We're not sure why she died. She just seemed to, that doesn't make sense. Lose the will to live. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know why you would put that on a chart, but anyway, she's dead. Well, on to my next appointment. <laughs> Whoosh! Um, Miss Benson, are you sure you want me to do this? I mean, this kind of goes against all the, the rules of law and rules of man that I've ever learned as a scientist. I need my best friend of me back. Well, uh, well, well, we had some luck with the mice. You remember how that went. Oh. Um, all right, well, we'll give it a try. I'll, I'll keep you updated. Thank Whoosh! You. Why am I alive again? <laughs> You're beautiful. I don't feel. Look at you. What? My, you put one of my legs where my arms were. The flim flam floozy also perfect. now has seven legs. <laughs> and now there are more of them. You can move so much faster. I wish I'd never been born. Oh, whoosh, whoosh. So, uh, so, uh, I had an idea since you guys keep breaking up. Maybe an idea. This is something I saw in the paper, this thing called Justice for Fun. That seems like right up your alley. I don't understand it. Fighting crime together? I don't know what the hell it is. But I she's just... a normal citizen with absolutely no crime fighting experience. Hey. 
Uh, okay, uh, hi everyone. Welcome to this week's meeting of Justice for Fun. Hi. Um, so, yep, yep, it's good to have you all here. Um, so, uh, this week, what we're going to do is we are going to go out and look sternly at Jaywalkers. <gasps> I don't think yeah, I've ever been more excited exciting. in my life. That sounds fun. And then can I gas them? Uh, listen, uh, you want vengeance for fun? That's three doors down on the left. Sorry. Um, I'll be back down. later. It happens all the time. So, all right. I need to go see that man in a moment. Oh, okay. That's what I'm doing. So, we will be directly outside uh, if you want to come meet up with us after that. All right? Sounds great. Thanks. All right. Cool. Thanks, Kim. All right. Uh, rest of us, come on. Let's go find some jaywalkers. Woo! Whoosh! Beep, beep. What are you doing? I'm just standing here. And that's how a CEO takes care of things. <laughs> Boy, Kim, you were real sweaty. Did everything go okay with you? Yeah, it was fine. We just had a nice little conversation. Oh, nice, nice. Well, <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't nearly as fun as us. We found two jaywalkers so far and... A litterer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I glared the hardest at him. Oh, I think yeah, he was glaring real hard. I pulled a muscle impressive. in my eye. Yeah, yeah. No, it was an impressive glaring. Right? I only killed three. I mean, I only stared sternly at three people today. Whoosh. <laughs> you know, Kimberly, sometimes, sometimes I just think that you might be the top-notch CEO in Tip Town. <laughs> MC! This was It's All Been Done Radio Hour, episode 215, the Top Notch Tangler number 29, FFN Date Night, starring Samantha Stark, Keith Jackson, Josh Kessler, Matt Schlichting, Stephen Woosley, Nikki Smith, and Peter Gray Beale. It was improvised. Nothing was written. Jerome did, Wetzel did prepare uh, Sam and Keith with some answers for Kimberly Benson and Carl Darling, but they also came up with much on their own. And the improvisers just went completely out of their own heads, some of them without even knowing these characters. So we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please support us at patreon.com slash IABD. Have a great week. It's All Been Done presents... Who's Got the Time? <laughs>